Hello and welcome to the property video tour for number 8 Haddon Road, which is a uh, very quiet cul-de-sac um, of Victorian properties just off the Melton Road, which is just at the end there, where you've got the Melton Road shops. So, uh, very good West Bridgeford location, nice quiet road, of course, no through traffic being a cul-de-sac. And uh, this is a four bedroom, semi-detached Victorian house, which uh, is quite substantial, like you'd expect from a big Victorian semi-detached property. Um, the only parking that comes with it is on-street parking. Uh, obviously, this is being filmed during lockdown and people aren't going to work, but as you can see, the space just there outside, which is good. So let's go and have a look in the property as we enter. Door here, it's a nice sort of period tiles, and uh, let's go and take a look. So, open the front door to a uh, mint tile floor, not a full mint tile floor, but uh, part of the original flooring that's been kept there, and some nice original features. Um, the property has actually been in the ownership of the, land, <coughs> the landlord since it was built. Um, his father actually built it, built all these properties on the road in the 1800s. Um, and the landlord, who uh, is quite elderly himself now, as you can imagine, has always uh, kept uh, ownership of this property. It's, um, it's got, this is the one of the two reception rooms, nice high ceilings, coving. Sadly, no uh, period fireplace, and this is carpet here, which is uh, actually pretty, pretty, pretty new in good order. Whole house has just been painted. Going into the second reception room, so this would be used possibly as a uh, second living room, um, or even a downstairs bedroom if someone needed it. Got a radiator where the fireplace would have been. Double glazed window looking over to the garden there. So, original layout of these Victorian properties was to have a very small kitchen at the rear um, and a dining room. So this is in its original layout, original condition. So it's got a dining room, step down two steps there from the uh, entrance hall, two steps down into the dining room, and then a door goes through into the kitchen. In here, we've got a kitchen. It's not the most modern kitchen, but it certainly serves the purpose, does the job. Got the boiler in the kitchen on the wall there, so got gas central heating and double glazing. Um, it's, uh, there's also Covered in the dining room here, which is just I'm trying to focus on that if I can. Ah, there we go. So that's a cupboard, just a storage cupboard off the dining room. There's also another door off the dining room, which leads into a half cellar, which is uh, useful for, for storage, of course. So Let's go and have a look on the first floor. This is a three-storey property. So we've got three bedrooms and a bathroom to the first floor. So I'll start at the, right at the back. I'll just turn around so you can see where we've come from. Come from up the stairs there. So back bedroom. It is actually a double bedroom. Like I say, it's been painted and the carpets are all in good order. Window here. Let's open that a little bit there. So we've got a view out the back. That's actually Willoughby Court there, but uh, quite well screened with the trees, mature trees there in the garden. So to the right, separate toilet. 
Next one is the bathroom. Electric shower. So this is the only bathroom in the property. Just so uh, everyone's completely clear about that. And the, there is that separate toilet next door, but it doesn't have a sink in. So uh, just be mindful that you would want to come and wash your hands in the bathroom after you're done. So next bedroom, nice big bedroom. Probably call this bedroom number two. Looks down there over the garden. And then the front bedroom, which on these lovely Victorian houses is always the biggest. So we've got two windows in this one. One, two. I have got the fire surround here, but it has been boarded up. It's a lovely sized bedroom. There we go. Like I said earlier, it's gas central heating off that boiler downstairs. Not the most modern radiators, but uh, still they do the job. And then back to the landing, stairs up to the top bedroom. And the nice size, really good size actually up here. Um, could either be used as, of course, as a bedroom or make a great place to have a railway track, games room, could, whatever you want really. So this is bedroom number four at the top. So we have four bedrooms, one bathroom, three reception rooms, the two traditional ones, and then the third being that dining room off the kitchen. And um, quite a good bit of storage. And I'll just show you the garden from up here. So not huge, but not that you want a big garden when you're renting. Nice size, manageable. And there's some outbuildings there for more additional storage. So there we go. It's a lovely house, but uh, don't want to give anyone the wrong impression that we're offering it's offering super modern fixtures and fittings because that simply wouldn't be true. What you do have is it's well presented, it's been decorated, it's got nice clean carpets, um, everything is fully functional and working, but uh, it's the sort of property that if someone did buy it, they'd probably knock walls out, put new kitchens in, maybe even extend it, and possibly add a second bathroom. So what you are getting here is fantastic value for money. So you're getting quite a large, expensive property, but the rent reflects that it's not super modern inside. Thank you for watching the video tour. 